We are doing GCE O Level 2015 Additional Maths Paper 1, Question 1. In this question, we are asked to find the value of x for which this function here is increasing. Let us understand what is the meaning of increasing function before we do this question. This is a graph of y equal to x squared. In this region of the graph, we can see that as the x value increases, the y value here increase as well. So for this kind of function, we call this an increasing function. One property of an increasing function is the gradient of an increasing function is always positive. That means if we were to draw a straight line and find the gradient of an increasing function, their gradient is always positive. And we understand that gradient means the first derivative. So the first derivative of an increasing function is always positive. For this region of the graph here, if we increase the value of x, we notice that we notice that the y value will decrease. Hence, this region of the graph we call this a decreasing function. For decreasing functions, the gradient of the graph is always negative. That means the first derivative is always less than zero. So increasing function, the first derivative is greater than zero. For decreasing function, the first derivative is less than zero. We are going to use this property to solve this problem here. That means we have to find the first derivative first and set the first derivative to be greater than zero and solve the equation for the value of x that caused this function to increase. So let's find the first derivative. There are two variables here. So we are going to use a product rule. I'm going to keep the first term, differentiate the second term, differentiate a 1 is a 0, differentiate a minus x is a minus 1, plus, product rule say plus, now I keep the second term and differentiate the first term. Simplify the expression. To find the value of x for which this uh, function here is increasing, we have to make this greater than 0. Now this is a quadratic inequality. To solve a quadratic inequality, you can use a quadratic graph to help us to find the range of value of x that is greater than 0. Let's factorize this expression. To draw the quadratic graph, we have to find the value of x that crosses the x-axis. So one of the points is x equal to 0. The other point is we let this expression to be 0 and solve for x. x will be equal to 2 thirds positive 2 thirds. Because the coefficient of x squared is a negative value, so the shape of the quadratic graph will be a set face. We can see this as a graph of y equal to minus 3x squared plus 2x. And we want this y value to be greater than 0. So that means we want this region of the graph. Because this region of the graph will give us a value of y that is greater than 0. Okay. We want this graph to be greater than 0. So for the y to be greater than 0, the x must be in this range. The x must be from 0 to 2 third in order for the graph to be greater than 0. Therefore, x must be between 0 to 2 third. There is no equal sign here because there is no equal sign in these inequalities. We conclude our answer. When x is between 0 to 2 thirds, the function fx will be an increasing function. Please visit this webpage for more videos.